Uh, can anyone guess one of my pet monster is? Standing in front of a whole bunch of people in a, a large room, may, maybe a lecture hall. Get my drift. <laughs> <laughs> All around you, you see people struggling with pressures from every direction. What's more, psychologists have been exploring that we have a comparable situation inside. In contrast to popular belief, psychologists have been observing that our inner world is more akin to a community than a single individual. The way we think about things inside is more like a conversation than a monologue if things are going well. Oh my. Is that? Yeah. Okay, well done. Um, there are different aspects of self inside everybody. Some universal <coughs> ones are the controller, the one that says, I'm the boss around here. The inner child that is enthusiastic, excitable, and innocent. The one that says, the theme park it was so cool. The pessimist, the one that says, it won't work out. The leader who's always ready to take charge. The one who says, we need to go that way. The wounded one. The one that wallows in his own pain and remembers all the hard times. The inner carer that empathizes, soothes, and panders. The harmonizer, the one that wants everyone to get along. If all of these inner voices work as a team, they can achieve great things. Um, but there are times when the inner voices clash and fail to listen to each other and show enough respect for each other. And what happens then is that somebody gets pushed out. You know what happens in the real world when somebody gets pushed out. The one excluded feels misunderstood, angry and bitter. Although their tear is invisible to the group that rejected them, this is probably not la the last time they get to hear about it. It could happen something like this. The uh, voice might say, danger, don't go there, I won't let you. You find a haunted house and it's awesome and you want to <coughs> open the door, but it won't let you. Next thing you know, it's saying there are sharks everywhere and crocodiles, but you really want to go for a swim. You say, it's just a scare mo you're just a scaremonger. I won't listen to you. But you fail to remember that it's their job to tell you about danger and to categorize different types. You know the little red bull? He came back as a monster. It's not by accident that the monster is in chains. It's hard to tell which came first, the chains or the monster. For me, it happened a little like this. Oh no, sorry. Uh, any, any part of you can become a monster from being left in the dark. Even a cute little teddy bear in the, right cir in the wrong circumstances can become. <laughs> For me, it happened a little like this. There were blue skies overhead, but an event that I didn't want to do was coming up. And I said, I won't do it now. I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. And it came closer. It was looming over me. But I said, I really don't want to do this, but um, I'll, I'll just wing it. But it came really close, and it, it blocked out the sun. I didn't know what to do. And it started to manifest into a monster. It turned into Gollum. <laughs> it made me lash out against the people around me, my mum my family, friends, and it got really close. I asked my mum, what do I do? There's a golem thing inside of me. And she said, what do you think he wants? To eat me? To eat me. So she says, well, maybe he wants a cup of tea. <laughs> After this, his whole manner changed. He became relaxed. <laughs> so, yeah, 
Um, my mom told me to keep giving him cups of tea because he's always mischief when he doesn't have them. So the next day, the golem had disappeared, but someone else had come. Gollum had decided to take up a childhood dream of being a chef, and he was always lively. He created a community inside me to, in, to help other monsters in the dark find a light place. He welcomed them with tons of pancakes. And now my inner world, my inner island, was sunny with crystal beaches and blue skies. There were clouds on the horizon, but I could sort them out before they came over me. So I guess what I want to say is, if there is a really, really scary monster inside you, always try to look at it. It may be big and scary, or, whoa, oh wait, it's just a little axolotl from the Mexico City's lake. <laughs> humans have been very interested in turning humans into monsters, but you have the power to turn monsters back into humans, like I did today with my TED talk. Mm -hmm.